Hi there, it's Lowell Lovers from the province uh, with another video edition of the fifth quarter coming tonight from Winnipeg where the Lions on Sunday defeated the Winnipeg Blue Bombers 24-21 to moving to 8-7 and after the third straight win of the year and a game in which, uh, guess what, we get to talk about quarterbacks once again um, because Travis Lule was the story of the game at least from an offensive standpoint uh, to a large degree. Coming into the game in the first quarter after Buck Pierce went down with another injury, um, a serious one from the looks of things, Travis Lule picked up the slack and with help from A.J. Harris, another newcomer, the two of them get 181 yards together on the ground and the Lions outrun or have more yards on the ground than they did through the air and still managed to win despite... Uh, Five turnovers themselves. They said they picked up four of their own and got 17 points, and that basically was the difference as the defense uh, shut the uh, bomber offense down really after um, the first uh, quarter and, and a little bit. Um, Buck Pierce, um, uh, Lions are being discreet about describing the injury. They described it as a possible ACL uh, ligament stretch or tear. They don't know for sure. But pretty clearly, Buck Pierce is probably going to have to get shut down for a prolonged period. And now that uh, Travis Lule has gotten some game action, I th I'm pretty sure that the Lions will shut him down. And I wouldn't all be surprised to see a miraculous recovery in the part of Jarius Jackson, who was at the game helping out as the fourth quarterback on the sidelines. Casey Printers did not see game action. You thought this might have been an opportunity for that to happen. It didn't. But Travis Lule... Though he, uh, you know, managed the game well, was very, very conservative in his uh, approach to the game in the second half. He only had two receptions to receivers in the second half. The rest were just basically checkdowns to A.J. Harris or runs, which were very, very important. I thought, you know, the, the difference in the game really was the run, obviously, for the Lions, but not the fact that they had so many yards, but that they tried to establish it early and got things, got a rhythm going with it with Harris which proved to be really beneficial when the, when the passing game bogged down as, as badly as it did in the second half. Um, defensively, as mentioned, uh, the Lions uh, got two picks from Baron Miles. They were both critical. Um, and I thought that uh, the other issue, I think, that sort of emerged from this game is the chronic lack of a return game. Ryan Greismullen is not doing anything, really, in a return role, and you wonder whether or not the Lions might reach back to Ian Smart, um, you know, their, their former returner, after another game in which the Lions really didn't get too much from an offensive standpoint in return yards. So, again, Pierce out, uh, status unknown. The Lions will probably uh, dance around that issue for a couple of more days, and we'll have to wait till Wednesday, which is a very short practice week for them this week, to see who shows up at quarterback. Um, but it does validate, certainly, the move to get Casey Printers in here uh, a couple of three weeks ago because, uh, you know, he looks like he's ready and could make a contribution if asked. So the Lions, as mentioned, they go to 8-7. and seven. They're not tied um, uh, with anybody in the West Division standings right now thanks to that tie between Calgary and Saskatchewan. It's going to be interesting to see how that plays itself out in the weeks ahead. That, that point could uh, sort of override the season series uh, with the Riders that the Lions will try and wrap up with their next game, which is on Saturday night. The Lions will practice Wednesday and Thursday, and then um, they will travel to Regina on Friday. So, again, the final score, 24-21 BC. They're 8-7 on the year. That's the fifth quarter from Winnipeg.